Hello everybody, Trucker57 here. Um, what's some trucking with Ed? Um, hope everybody's doing okay today, after 4th of July. Hope you all had a great one. I know I did. And we're back with Trucking with Ed. So, over the weekend, while I was catching up on my recording day, I did lots of Trucking with Ed. Um, but in the last episode, which was episode 12, um, uh, we were in the Kenworth and we did a long trip um and some bits didn't go too well and we were stuck behind priuses <laughs> so um let's put all that behind us and here we are episode 13. let's hope this is not unlucky let's hope let's hope let's hope let's hope for it because <laughs> this is episode 13. so we're hoping for the best um all righty so um, we've unlocked the bank, we have truck dealers, um, we have $15,000, and we are level 3. Um, so I'm start, I'm thinking we should probably start looking at the truck dealers. Um, excuse me. I think maybe we should start looking at the truck dealers. Um, just to see what they have there. Travel to Phoenix, yes we do, thank you. So, it looks like this W900 will cost 119000 or it could get one of these, which costs 122000 Um, or it could get a Peterbilt, if we wanted. But I kind of do want to stick with the Kenworth on this one. T680s, I, I never have luck with them. Um, <laughs> so... That said, I'm thinking about the W900. Um, we're not going to purchase one this episode. Probably in the next one we will. But I'm thinking like this would be very nice. Um, level 10, we can get a sleeper cab. Um, I have a real transmissions mod, but um, just for the sake of it, we'll just scroll up and get that one <laughs> we would just go ahead and get that one i think uh we have that interior um paint job is obviously and we, we would get cabin lights and stuff on here mirrors i look for mirrors and stuff but that again that's for a later episode that is not for this episode as, uh, oh, I also do want to say the squirrel logistic skin is like one dollar, I think. Yep, one dollar. So you do get refunds. You do get refunds. Um, which is quite, which is quite funny. Um, but I do like that feature. I guess we want to cancel the truck modifications and leave. So we will get a truck in probably the next episode, but for this episode, we are just going to take another quick job. Um, we can take petrol from Los Angeles to San Francisco. That's quite long. Um, we can take a Digger 500. Again, it's quite long. Um, that would be okay. I'm going to take that. I don't want to drive a little Peterbilt like that one, you know, day cab and all, but I mean, we could. Furniture, geez, I don't really have any good jobs here. No T680s, thank you. <laughs> Just right away, no thank you. No thank you. Well, the big T680, like the full cab, I, I'd be okay with the high-rise sleeper. I'd be okay with it. Um, on another note, let's go back. Where's the Peterbilt? Is this the Peterbilt? Yes, it is. Um, I would actually like that. The Deer 1000 from Los Angeles to Kingman. Maybe we could do that. Or the Deer. I actually like this one. We'll do this one. The Digger 500, 16 and a half thousand pounds from Sierra Vista, Arizona to Kingman, Arizona. It uses our fragile. And it's just a regular delivery. Um, $5,360 and it expires an hour and, three, an hour and six minutes. 
And right now, it's currently Wednesday, 53 a.m. in the game, and they're expecting it in a day. So, should be fun. It might, it's going to be, this might be about a 20, 25 to a 30 minute episode. Um, hopefully, it's okay with you guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying all the series I have out. Um, I'm still doing Highway Racer. Um, I'm still doing Trucking with Ed, ATS. Um, Trucking with Ed ETS is going to be put on hold for now, guys. Um, till I could, I, I think it's going to be stay on hold until I can get the full version of your truck simulator. Um, so we don't screw ourselves up like we did in ATS. So, um, Trucking with Ed ETS is now put on hold. Um, I did get the full version of ETS, but, um, they didn't use real brands of trucks and stuff. Um, it was ETS 1, so put in mind, it was the very, f like, one of the very first things, um, SES did. And it just wasn't, I didn't like it, so, um, I had it refunded, and I got, um, MX vs. ATV, ATV Reflex, as well as another game for next Mystery Game Monday. Um, so we have two other new series coming shortly here in the next week. Well, we have eight other series. Um, because we have MX vs. ATV Reflex already out. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy your 4th of July. I know I did. Um, lots of fun. You know, lots of people. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't get any footage on that. Um, in my vlog of my 4th of July, I just was showing the side of a car and was just talking. But, um, I hope you guys didn't enjoy your 4th of July. Um, so yeah. We are finally on Z Road. We're on Z Road. And this interior mod, the W900, I, l I really like it. So, we're gonna be turning here. Peter built, thank you. Uh, it was farther than I thought it was. And we are off. Almost. Almost off. And we are leaving Sierra Vista. The 55 speed limits. I'm watching that Dodge Magnum in our mirror. There he goes. Just passing us. It's alright with me if he passes us. At the side of the truck here, and we are leaving beautiful Sierra Vista. This truck doesn't need any fuel, or pretty much full on fuel. Jake breaking in, get in the left lane here because we do make we do need to make a left turn up. Hey, slam on the brakes! This thing's got good brakes. Well, actually, we have our braking sensitivity turned up, which actually does help us. <laughs> Especially sometimes. Oh, we go down. There we go. So we're sitting at this red light. Hopefully, this guy doesn't ram us. This guy doesn't ram us. Oh my god! Jeez! What is your problem, dude? Back up, will you? Thank you! Ex he did exactly what I thought he would do. And hopefully we don't have any damage. Alright, so the truck's damaged, but our trailer isn't, which is fortunate. Very fortunate, to be exact. Jeez! That Peterbilt driver! I'm suing that guy. Now we're gonna go super slow, um, so he has to stay behind us. Now. We're gonna troll this guy. We are going to troll him. 
Oh my. Okay. Hopefully no damage. I want to say no damage. Yes, no damage. That's good. So, after we got trolled by a Peterbilt driver, we are back on the road. Yes, we are. And it looks like we'll be driving through the night, if I'm not mistaken. Go here. Um, yeah. Looks like we'll be driving through the night, so we may be able to get some good um, thumbnail foot, you know, thumbnail here. So, a good thumbnail. I always like good thumbnails. I thought we were speeding our butt off. We're not. We're okay. We're okay. We are okay. These road systems, I like these. I really do. In Ohio, we have some road systems like that. Not always. We have some. We have a couple road systems and freeways that all get all split up and um, difficult to manage your way through. We do have a couple of those here, especially um, to Cleveland and such. Um, it's quite fun. I've I have to say, personally, it's quite fun to go down to some of those, but you now the people think differently. There's an old Chevy pickup. I think that's a Chevy. Please, don't mind me if I say, if I say it's a Chevy and it's not. Please. <laughs> um, I think that's a Chevy. I don't know. I think that's a Chevy. I'm here doing the speed limit. Surprisingly enough, I'm handling pretty well. 75 mile an hour cruise control. And I do have it set the truck limit, so I don't know why this W900 is going slow. That guy right there. Don't know why. But we'll pass him up. Because we can and we want to. And we should. Hopefully, can the other drivers go through? Yeah, we are speeding up. Alright. Well, we're taking off here. I like these road systems. I really do. They're really unique. Whoa. Okay, let's stay on our in our lane there. Oh wow, this looks insane right here. Oh, some of it. Like the loop there. On the side that looks insane. Sort of. I don't know why, but sort of. <laughs> I don't know why it looks insane, but it does. Oh, airplane just took off. If you can see that there. There it is. I don't see it now. Curve. <laughs> That's the worst thing to do when you're in a curve doing 75 miles an hour in a Kenworth W900. Is to be look trying to look for a plane in that camera view because you I can't drive in that view. Jeez. There we go. Okay. Let me just fix my mouse mouse pad here. My hand just doesn't doesn't feel right. All right. There we go. We're okay. No, no, we're not. Okay. Yes, we are actually. Move over here. I think we're going a little too fast, so we'll slow down to 65. That would have been a good thumbnail right there. I don't, I don't, oh my gosh, I did not see that guy. He scared me. I just heard boo. I looked back. Oh, we got damage right there. That was my fault. That second time we hit that Mustang, um, that was my fault. That was purely my fault. All right, we're gonna get off here. Turn the slow down to a safe speed there. Not the best ones. <laughs> I just realized. I just realized. I'm trying to keep an eye on that mirror so I can move over. 
take a break. Give the accelerator a break. Alright. Alright, is that the Mustang we hit? I think it is. Sorry. I, I apologize. Uh, 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 um, sorry, I just jerked the wheel over. Somehow, to my turn signal. And we're in the wrong lane. Get back over. SW900, it has no problem at all with this Digger 5. Well, the Digger 500 isn't that heavy anyway. It's tobacco, so. It's not that heavy, so. It's treating it like it's nothing right now. Like literally nothing. I just itched my arm. That wasn't the best time to do it. <sighs> so we're getting off at the Camp Verde exit. Exit, I missed the exit number, but we're getting off there. And that's why it's important. Exit something or other. Or just, oh, it just says exit. It doesn't give a number. That's surprising. It should give a number. Like 2A or 23B or something like that. You know, it... Because... It, here in Ohio, we do have exit numbers. I don't know if they do it down in Arizona or not. Yes, I say I've been in Arizona, but um, I think it was Tucson, Arizona, maybe, where we were at. I want to say Tucson or Phoenix, but we were in Arizona. But uh, I don't know if they have exit numbers or not. Because we didn't do the driving. And I just heard something about a tweet um, on my iPod. I don't know why that's important, but okay. <laughs> All right, so we are going. Peterbilt, woo! Just passed us. I do like those Peterbilts, man. It's a tough decision when you buy a truck. I don't know if I want a Peterbilt um, or the Kenworth. Or I might even throw in a truck bot. Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> it's so hard. I also want the Peterbilt th um, 379 so bad, but I don't know what to choose. I, I still want to find a VNL mod that'll work because my game doesn't recognize it for some reason. I'm, I want to find a Volvo VNL mod so bad. And I also want to find a Freightliner Cascadia and a Freightliner Classic mod. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what I want. It's so hard when you get a truck. We're gonna Jake break it down the hill. We're not gonna, if we could go straight on instead of taking a turn on this road, I would. All right, we're gonna take a picture right there. Right there, I think. Oh, lag. It's not you guys, it's not the video you're watching. It's actually my game. It's, it just had frame drops. I think this would be quite cool. That does look amazing. Get, the, get a bit of the car in it right there. Turn the blur strength down just a touch. There. What do you guys think? There's our thumbnail. Take a couple of screenshots of that. I just, I, I just, I'm just gonna take a thumbnail for whatever I think is quite cool and would make a really good thumbnail. Um, so you guys get to see that process. So don't stop. Coming in right after you pause the game is just not, not, no. <laughs> All right, so we're back on the road now, after the thumbnail. And we're off on this back road of some sort. So something gonna remind me if I can't quite, I can't quite see what that it says right there. Um, if it says, 
I know the speed limit says 65, but on the road, it's telling us like Arizona Highway something. I can't make out what that is. I want to say that's 65 as well, but I'm not going to say anything. No assumptions. Um, while, I was, while we had the cookout and picnic thing yesterday for 4th of July, um, my friends that came over, um, their dad is a real truck driver. And he drives a Freightliner Cascadia. And um, I was talking to him and showed him this game, and he was just amused by how much I knew. But, um, yeah, I got to talk to a real truck driver. He, um, he even gave me a couple of daily driver logs here. Um, the paperwork that they have to fill out. He actually, he, I thought he was joking when he said he would give me some, and then right when he was leaving, he actually gave us some. <laughs> so I, right now I'm holding real driver daily lo logs. Um, he works for a company, I think it's called Coonley, but um, he gave me some daily driver logs, so that's cool. Um, I just have him sitting here next to my thing, so I paused it, but um, yeah, it's quite cool. I actually have real logs here of what real truck drivers have to fill out. That's amazing. It's also kind of insane what they have to fill out. I, I actually, I honestly think it's cool. <laughs> I don't know what this is right here. Up ahead. I don't know what the loop is for. Oh, they're trying to not have a stop and turn, so they're having us go. Oh no, it's just the entrance to a town. I know Jake breaking today. Make it seem realistic. You won't. You wouldn't Jake break in a town, so. Are there some rum there? Oh gosh! Stop! Can't believe we stopped in time. Again, we basically have AI breaks because, um, oh, oh, Kenworth, hello there. Yep, it's just a, a loop, an entrance into a town. If that's even a town. I don't even know if that's even a town. But anyway, I know we're driving now, so. 66. This is Route 66. We're taking Route 66 right here. The famous, world famous road right here. Featured in the Cars movie. Oh, we have that here. Route, this is Route 66 we're driving on. Ladies and gentlemen. We are driving on the famous road. The famous road. I just passed the sign that said Route 66. And here we are on this famous road. Oh. Maybe that turn wasn't going to be a thumbnail. Maybe I'll make, I'll do a new thumbnail here in a second. Right there, it coming over the hill. So, I, yeah, I had an idea for the name of this, but no, I have a new idea. Oh, look at that. That's going to be neat. That, that's cool. That is cool. We're going to around here. Mm, focus it a little better. I still want to make it blurry, like that. That's awesome. So I just have a new name for this all of a sudden. Take a couple screenshots. That's amazing. A couple screenshots of that. Not hit uh, any other traffic or the guardrail. Oh, we're turning. Jeez. Just go up to speed. Oh, what was that in the middle? I don't know what that was. This is 65 through here. 
Jeez, this is 65 through here. So here we are at our destination. We're coming up to it. I can see in the sat nav here. We're coming up to it. Don't hit me, thank you. <laughs> I can't believe it's 65 through here. That's ridiculous. There's gonna be something flying around that corner when I'm on the other side of the road. Yep, there it is. I knew it. But, um, yeah, we got to drive out in the famous road, Route 66. So, that was incredible. That was amazing. That was awesome. So we're probably here super early. Oh yeah, we're here early. We are here extra early. I'm not sure if they give us a bonus for that. We, um, we did wreck the trailer just a, just a touch, not much, just a touch. And it's at a road site. Oh, splendid. Well, that's great. Let's go find a spot to turn around and the traffic light turn. No. Alright, we'll go to the No ma 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 We'll go you No, know, we'll go into King Kingman. Maybe no we won't, maybe. We'll turn around now nah, we'll go through King Kingman. <laughs> Like, um, we'll just go turn around. Nope. We'll just go, we'll just loop around Kingman. Backing up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I hit, a, did I hit the car? I'm sorry. <laughs> Good. Goodness. I'm sorry, I hit, I hit the police car and there's a Dodge Ram on top of it. Right. Turn green, please. Jeez. Turn green. Come on. Now it turns green, I just can't move. So that's a bad spot. So we're going to come in from the other direction. We'll just loop around Kingman and come back. So we can back in easily and take out their cones as well. <laughs> um, I just love doing that, right? Love taking out their cones. I did it in a past um, either episode or it was the road trip. No, it wasn't the road trip because we ended in a Walbert or something. But um, I think I did this in a past ATS. We just wiped out their cones. Or no, it was the Grand Canyon visit that we did. Um, as a American truck simulator, you know, not no series or anything. It was just let's drive. Um, we just wiped out their cones when we were backing in. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it was good feeling. Twenty-five speed. Event. Let's make it realistic here. Oh, want to back end into a posted truck. Don't want that. Oh, jeez. We're making the light. Oh, slam on your brakes. Jeez. Alright, so we're in Kingman. We'll, we'll flip around up here. For the police. This is going to be a bit of a long episode. I don't know how long this will be, but I, I think it's going to be a long episode. I'll, I'll give it that. Go! I'm revving my engine. Go. I don't want to miss this light. Come on. I'm 
not missing my light, thank you. Now this is heavy traffic. This is heavy traffic. This is, this is Cleveland. <laughs> We gotta make it super wide here. So our trailer can fit around there. Cause there's so much traffic I couldn't swing out. Make a left here. Uh, right. I have to make it wide because that bus is not backing up for us. Come on, turn, there we go. A bus is not backing up for us. So we just had to do some maneuvering there. That's okay with me. Alright, so we're basically just doing the loop here in Kingman. Hopefully traffic isn't too bad and we can just roll on out of here. We're flooring it. Ooh. Yes, we did it. We floored it and we succeeded. We're heading back to our destination. Excuse me. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we're just stuck on a red light. This is a bit of a long episode now, isn't it? I was hoping it not be so long. I just realized the Lupin Kingdom was bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> I just realized. Go! I will not miss this light. I will not miss this light. I will not miss this light. I am not missing it. Yes! Oh, just in the nick of time. Oh. Alright, go back down to 25. Alright, so we didn't miss. And that, I think that Sierra right there just popped in. I'm not sure, but I'll have to look back at it, but I think that Sierra just popped in. I'll do 50, because our drop off is just up ahead, so I'll do 50. And then start slowing down a good bit early. We do have traffic behind us though, so I'm not sure how this will turn out. Um, they should, hopefully you should give us some space, because I will turn on my four-way right about now. So hopefully AI will back up for us. Do they still back up for you? It's looking like it, sort of. He's staying back. He probably can't back up because there's that traffic behind him. But he's hanging behind me, so... Now, how are we going to do this? Because we have all that traffic behind us. I have a feeling we're just gonna wipe out their cones here. Or actually, we could just, okay. I didn't know we could pull right in here. I didn't think we were big enough to do it, but we did. We definitely couldn't do it from the other direction, but. Excuse me. Allergy season. I was just outside all day yesterday and it's allergy season, so. 
go harder. We might have to blindside it. I think it's it's looking like it. I can't stick my head out the window because there's an exhaust pipe, the giant thing exhaust pipe. So there's that in the way. I'm surprised we could fit up there. Uh oh, I don't want to hit their cone. I hit it. I am sorry about your cone. Our traffic cars can hit it now. The traffic cars can hit it. Don't they can't hit me, they can hit it. I'm gonna have to use the road here. The road the resource of the road. Um, for this one. Just looking in our mirror there. Trusty old side mirror. I forgot the wheelbase on the Kenworth is terrible. <laughs> it's it's actually worse on the W900L. Um, so and this is I think this uh, this might be the W900L. I don't know. It could be, may or may not be. So we just turned into blindsiding it, and we just we had it on our side uh, as a regular backup, and it turned into blindsiding it. So I'm using all our resources to back this in, back this low boy in. All right, so they're happy with it there. Um, to be honest, I am too. I'm not gonna do it again. Their cone's just sitting in the middle of the road. That's okay. They can figure. It. They can figure it out. I want to see if that semi truck will run it over real quick. Well, we can turn our truck off. No, get outside. I'm not sure if he'll stop for it or not, or if he'll hit it. Oh darn it! Oh, he goes through it. Okay, that's new. They go through it. Same thing in the way, they just go through it. Okay, I want to see if this car will go through it. That's funny, they just go right through it. Oh, he, he, he maneuvered. Well, we, we got, we um, drove down Route 66. We got trolled by Peterbilt. Um, crazy but fun episode. So let's detach and see what we got here. Good work. 439 miles, 11 hours, 11 minutes. Game time, 97.2 gallons of fuel consumed. Total, $5,042.483 experience. We lost $318.37 experience due to the damage penalty of 1.5%, but it's not too bad. And we are level 3 newbie. So in the next episode, I'm thinking, I'm thinking on buying a truck um, for the next one. But again, that's for the next one. Um, Please, guys, if you did enjoy this, please click that like button and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Um, it lets me know what you guys like and don't like. Um, feel free to click that dislike button if you don't like this. Um, and comment below what you guys thought about the video. And I will talk to you guys. Oh, actually, I won't yet because we have an email. All right, we can help you grow. Bank. Okay. Dear sir or madam. Oh, I'm talking to <coughs> in a bank teller's tone. Dear yes, sir or madam, we couldn't help but notice your steady earnings and we would like to assist you with developing your potential even further. Your credit limit has been raised to $500,000. Feel free to draw from the available sum any time at your local bank center. Respectfully, the sales manager here at the bank. Alright, so that was my bank manager tone there. But, um... So we've unlocked five hundred thousand dollar loan. Um, that's really tempting me to buy a truck. But anyway, buying a truck will be for the next episode. Again, click that subscribe and like button if you guys did enjoy this content. Um, and you guys want more. And again, feel free to click that dislike button if you didn't like this. And um, comment below and tell me what you guys thought about the video. Um, that's it for me, guys. Again, I hope you guys had a great fourth. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed.